morning guys another day uh, just woke up kind of surprising that uh, my weigh-in was a little bit lower than I was expecting it's actually lower than it's been in maybe four weeks since I had kind of maintenance calories um, it's been a few days uh, let's see how many days one two two days to be exact of uh, dropping my calories by a little bit um, and to my surprise 187.8 was my weigh-in so yesterday was 190.4 so that was I don't know why it dropped like that and uh, but anyway um, could be a fluke who knows we'll find out but anyway uh, today guys the plan is to uh, get a workout in a couple hours um, after that I want to work on and hopefully submit a application for a trademark for something very exciting that I hope you guys can support me through um, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now because I'm not sure you know what the status is gonna be on that um, as far as you know rights go but um, I'm I got my fingers crossed so hopefully um, you know that goes through uh, after that, I want to do some some work with aside from the the vlogging work I want to do some work for the sponsors, you know Gymshark my protein things like that um, I'm going to be touching up my YouTube. I need to uh, make some changes to you know my picture my banner I want to update things because I'm getting a lot more active on social media now um, I need to get my snapchat out there. So if you're not following me, please do yuck snap um, I had it for a little bit and then I deleted it because my phone couldn't support it now like I mentioned before I have a Galaxy S7 so uh, I actually have the battery life and the, uh, the the phone capable to handle snapchat so yuck snap please follow me and let me know that you saw this video so I can kind of make the correlation on how effective this is being um, I hope the wind isn't making too much noise that being said, uh, yeah, you guys already know, Instagram, at Yucky Lovato. I'll be making updates on everything, trying to tie everything together, um, put my social media links, you know, interchange them on all my social media platforms. Um, I'm also making some calls today. I have some, uh, some exciting mods going down for the Corvette soon, and I, I seriously can't wait to share that, that whole journey and process with you guys. It's just around the corner. I'll share, I'll share more with uh, the big plans soon. Um, but right now I kind of want to settle everything, make sure everything's going to go down and, uh, yeah, main major things are already, um, you know, purchased. So just a few things and then, uh, got to plan out the whole, the whole, uh, event to, uh, make the modifications happen. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Follow me on my journey, guys. Excited to take you. Let's do this. And also don't just look at me. Stay productive, you know, use this, use my vlogging, which you guys know I've never done. Um, as motivation to stay active and to you know take your game to the next level on whatever it is that you do for me I know it sounds funny just to post videos on a regular basis is has not always been my strong point But I'm working on it. I'm trying to improve on it So, you know whether you work at McDonald's whether you're a car salesman whether you uh, you sell houses properties uh, Step it up, you know set a goal for yourself make it happen and uh, just remember that if you don't take action Nothing's gonna happen. You know, you can always tell yourself you're gonna do something in the future. No, nah, let's do it today even if you're not comfortable with it, take the leap, take the jump. Uh, if you're doing a, if you have a full-time job and you're planning on being an entrepreneur and you're confident in yourself, but you've been waiting on making that jump, just do it. Do it today. All right. Uh, hopefully that can motivate you guys. I did it before. No regrets. As long as you stay motivated, stay hungry, it's gonna happen. So, yeah, motivation for the day. Cheesy, corny motivation for the day, but true stuff. You know I keep it real. All right, guys. See you guys in the next clip. Thanks. Okay, guys. Uh, just a little tip for you guys, depending on. Uh, what you're eating, if it's some type of peanut butter, almond butter, anything like that. Um, it can be hard to measure in certain situations. I'm going to give you an example right now and I'm going to show you how to uh, make measuring that type of stuff a little bit easier. All right, check this. Okay, so normally, here's my cereal, right? I already poured my cinnamon roll protein on here um, as the milk. So yeah, it's got liquid in there. Uh, and then I drizzle my protein cashew butter on there. Now normally what I do is I take this, I zero it out, right? And then I take a spoon, I grab some, I put it on, but then it gets stuck to the spoon, I'm like fighting it. And then I kind of have to pick it off the spoon just to, just to, get, it to, uh, just to get it to fall onto the, uh, the cereal. And then if I need like two more grams, then I have to like little by little, you know, try to make it, try to make it hit the exact amount of grams I'm looking for. In this situation, I'm looking for 30 grams, right? So instead of doing it this way where it's all sticky and it's hard to measure perfectly, what I do is I just take this off, okay? Put this on, okay? You put your actual almond butter or cashew butter, peanut butter, whatever you're using, you put it on, you zero it out, and then you take some out and then you just, whatever the negative number is, that's how many grams you just took out. 
So let's say, right, let's say I take some out, okay? Let's say I just took a little bit out right on the spoon. Now it's at negative five. So you know you just took five grams out. So everything that you, that's on the spoon is five grams. Then you can just put it on there. And then obviously since I need 30, I can just keep picking until I get exactly 30. It'll actually say negative 30. And then I'm gonna just put the spoon in here. I'll be set to go. That's a little tip. I know it seems kind of simple, but sometimes um, people don't really think about those simple tips and tricks. All right, turn it on. I just came over 400 horsepower luxury Lexus ISF the uh, the evil twin of the uh, c63 AMG or the uh, BMW m3 more unique I love it okay guys rocking the throwback shirt check it out <laughs> with my boy Jason chilling on our way to uh, sack um, plans changed guys I told you guys I was gonna work out and then um, do some some uh, some sponsorship work and uh, work on a, uh, a trademark, but I'm actually still gonna do that a little bit later since that's online. Um, and right now, and I'm actually gonna get my workout in later too. I'm gonna try to find a 24 hour uh, gym that I can go to. I'm still gonna get some footage uh, for you guys, not with the very nice camera that my videographer uses, but just gonna use this one um, and probably, probably gonna voice it over. Um, that being said, right now, we're on our way to the track. Uh, my boy Jason hit me up, said he's gonna go today. I said, I'll roll with you. Um, it's not, it's not really, uh, no point in me racing right now because I've gone a few times with my vet and I've pretty much maximized its potential at its current power level. Um, meaning I don't really think I can run any faster than I have until I get more mods, which you guys know some of that's coming soon. Um, but anyway, we're in the rolling in the ISF today. This is, like I said, more of a rare, uh, alternative to um, cars in the like I'd say the Mercedes-Benz C63 or BMW M3 class uh, it's a it's a it's a seven eight speed right yeah eight speed automatic V8 with uh, paddle shifters this car is sick as fuck us and uh, 418 horse stock I want to say it's like 16 416 uh, stock horsepower um, pretty close to stock here for now um, but uh, it moves man the 8 speed is awesome I've driven this car it's got the luxury got the bucket seats got the uh, the sound the performance um, and the unique factor so it's got everything um, I like it show you a little bit of the interior here comes stock with the energy drinks Sorry. yeah <laughs> but uh, it's got some sick dash um, Zoom in on the, uh, on the dash there, see if you can focus. Maybe not. There we go. No focus. Yeah. ISF right there. So a lot of the uh, recent Lexuses, guys, like the IS250, IS350s, they'll say like F Sport. It's, it's basically like a, like a sports package, but it's not the actual F. This is the actual ISF, and that's what makes it a lot more rare. This is a 2010, Jason? Yeah, 2010. 2010. Um, and yeah, it's sick. And what you guys can't see is that it's pretty spacious. Like I've been in a IS250, IS350, like a newer generation. Very nice cars, but this one's a little bit more spacious, which is what I like. So yeah, four doors, good stuff. Anyway, on our way to the track, I'm gonna uh, show you guys some clips from the track and so you guys can get an idea how it is and then uh, hopefully explain to you guys a little bit on how that you know how the whole track experience works um, you know for for the racer and then that way if I get some more track videos if, if, if I decide to go out and race and get some footage for you guys which I have in the past you know um, I'll actually you, you guys will be able to participate a little bit more in, in understanding it so anyway let's do this track day here she is guys again the ISF <laughs> Rolling with the hood open. Here's my boy Austin with the the uh, bone stock C6 Z06 Corvette. This is my my buddy right here. This is his first time taking this vet to the track, so we'll see how he does. And here's the lineup, guys. Everybody's getting ready to race.
Got some vets repping today. See how these guys are running. Got a bunch of Mustangs. Got some older Fox bodies right here, looking pretty sick. Mustang right here. Some imports over there. Older vet back there, Mustangs. Let's go. This is called Tech Guys. This is where they inspect the car and uh, make sure they know you're in the right class, uh, that you got your helmet if your car's uh, running faster than 13 seconds in the quarter mile. And uh, yeah, they just check everything. If you need like a roll cage, if you're too fast, all that type of stuff, they check you here. And then they'll put a little number on your car and then you're good to go. SRT10 Viper. We're looking at a little tiny engine, not serious. A little forced induction on the Corvette, supercharger, checking in. That booty. She's clean, bro. My boy Jason coming up. The way it works, guys, is the, the lights that, they, that each lane has uh, to race in, it's kind of like a stoplight, right? But there's, there's, there's a total of five lights on each lane. And uh, the, the top two lights are called the staging lights. And the car pulls up little by little until the first staging light turns on with a sensor. And then they just inch forward a few more inches and the second staging light turns on. So once those top two lights are on in both lanes, then both cars are, the, are in the exact same position and ready to launch and start against each other. Um, from there, uh, the, the, the lights underneath those go. So it goes yellow, 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 green. And you just have to go as close to the green as possible if you're racing heads up against somebody. Five AMG, ladies and gentlemen. Supercharged V8. This car's clean. GTR. Boy Austin versus Jason. So clean. My boy with a supercharged Viper, 650 wheel horsepower. Final run of the night for these two in their class.
11 9 121 for the vet best best run of the night for him Twelve eight one oh nine. Lexus ISF, let's go. Woo! What's up guys? Uh, finished with the track. Um, it's too late to go to the gym. Um, good thing I'm doing five days a week on my training, so I'm just gonna back it up, do another training session later this week. Um, but we're here at BJ's restaurant, we're about to eat. Um, my my macros are 60 fat, 240 carbs, and 175 protein for the day. Um, I already ate a little bit of that, but um, I'm actually going to, I, I, I plugged in the numbers in my phone for my meal, I'm gonna go over my macros by 17 grams on the fat, but what I'm doing is I'm taking those calories that I went over on and I'm decreasing it from carbs just for the day. I recommend you stick to your macros, but uh, if you want to stick to the calories, sticking to the calories is more important when it comes to being in a deficit. So if you absolutely have to go over your fats a little bit, that's the way to go about it. So in this example, 17 grams over on fat uh, equates to 17 times 9 is 90 plus 153 calories. So you take your carbs. Uh, and you decrease them by 153 calories, which ends up which ends up being about 40 grams of carbs. So instead of 240 grams of carbs, I'm gonna go 200 grams of carbs, and my uh, my fats will be 17 grams over 60, so about 77 after I plug them in. Anyway, if you do the math or you understand what I said, you'll get it. Uh, that being said, time to eat. I'll show you what I'm eating. Okay, guys. So. Uh I forgot to record my food because I was so hungry and I just ate it, so my apologies. It was a double turkey burger and mashed potatoes on the side instead of french fries. It was amazing. Apparently they don't have the double deluxe on the menu here at BJ's anymore, but just ask for it if you guys go and switch that for uh, turkey patties because I normally don't like turkey burgers, but this turkey burger is the one. I know you probably have a BJ's around you or um, most people probably do. Anyway, it was a good night, time to go home. Get some work done and see you guys see you guys tomorrow so uh back from the track uh like i i think i just told you guys that uh the last clip was going to be the last clip of the video but uh, i made it here guys um i'm actually on my computer you guys admired my little amount of icons terrible i know um but i had mentioned earlier you know you have to kind of not only set goals for yourself but just take action and do it even if you're you're not going to finish it whatever just get started get moving go so that's been a goal of mine uh this year and things have been going you know very nicely this year for me and i think a lot of it is because of that so right now for example it's like one in the morning um obviously that entrepreneur life timing doesn't really matter as long as you have energy you're feeling good you don't have to do anything tomorrow early morning where this would kill you um you know, it, it's it's not going to hurt to, you know, hop on the computer and get some work done. Especially it's that work that I told myself I was going to do today and that I want to get done today. Um, I'm just going to hop on it now get as much done as I can before I go to bed. Um, working on a little bit of that trademarking um, kind of application that I told you guys I was going to work on. Um, uh, check to see if there's any clients or any uh, emails that I have that I haven't responded to. Got to always stay up on that. Um, and I'm also going to get... Uh, this footage up on Dropbox um, because I have uh, my video guy Lino that helps me out with that stuff. So um, I'm going to see if that's the most efficient way. We're kind of toying around with different ways to see what the best way is to, uh, you know, get the footage to him so that he can help me out with these videos, um, whether it's Dropbox or even giving him these memory cards and stuff, um, depending on, you know, if it's more than a vlog that I can just make. Um, you know, if it has some integrated stuff in it that he wants to put in there, um, we're, we're just, we're just trying to, you know, we're, we're still in the troubleshooting phases of figuring out what's going to be the most effective way of doing this. Um, you know, because I want to post frequent videos and, uh, going well so far, you know, no probs. Just the main thing is keeping the camera on, um, 
taking you guys, you know, step by step uh, as I do things in my life. And um, just happy to share it with you, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed, you know, that footage from the track and uh, enjoyed kind of the the realness of it. I'm not even sure what it looks like. I haven't looked back on it yet. But uh, yeah, just trying to take you guys, you know, on, on show you guys the different aspects of my life um, and not just not just to uh, motivate you or try to, um, again, be some type of cheesy source of uh, a motivation in any way. Like I know a lot of people because the thing is, the reason I say that, guys, is because a lot of people ask me on a daily basis, seriously, on, on whether it's Snapchat, Instagram, like, hey, uh, Lovato, how can I make a YouTube channel to inspire people? How can I? do this, do that, to inspire people or motivate people. But it's just all for the wrong reasons. You know, people are just, um, people just think that they can get on YouTube and then just say something to motivate people and then that makes them, you know, um, who they are or whatever. No, you just gotta be real. You know, if you share your life, uh, maybe you're not that motivational of a person, you know, maybe you don't have the right words to say. Maybe that's not you. I think that steers, uh, that mentality steers people away from who they really are and where their true value is. Um, whatever it is that you like doing, that you're that you are strong at, that you're good at, that you love doing, that you enjoy doing without YouTube or without a camera on you, do that. And then once you have that down, once your life is is awesome, put a camera on yourself and then track the journey. You know, chances are people will relate, people will follow you, or people will want to without you having to spew some generic motivational stuff to them, right? So keep that in mind, guys. That's a big thing for those of you guys who want to make YouTube channels, social media things, whatever. And I won't lie, you know, saturation is a huge thing. There's so many people now that do it, so it's harder to, uh, um, you know, continue to grow in the social media world, I guess, nowadays than it was, you know, five years ago uh, or even, you know, three years ago. But uh, the biggest thing is going to be sticking to something that you're really passionate about and love doing, because passionate about and love doing. Because if you don't, you're not going to be frequent. You're not going to be uh, consistent with what you do. Um, in my case, it's not that I don't love what I do, um, because obviously, as you guys know, I've never really posted this consistently before. Um, it's more so like I was literally enjoying life so much. I forgot that vlogging even existed, right? So it's, for me, it's just the, the, uh, the, the emphasis and the, the, uh, remembering to put a camera on myself, um, as I go day to day. So it's, for me, that's kind of a unique thing, but I, I enjoy life. I love what I do and I'm just kind of sharing it with you guys. So little by little, you guys will learn a little bit more about me. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I won't keep this any longer. I got, I got some work to do, but, um, see you guys very soon. Thank you guys for following on these vlogs. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know. Always let me know what you think in the comments below. All right. Always got to keep it real with you guys. Love you. Peace out. In my old school, bumping that kiss the light. I need to see it. These lights. Caught up in the moment, getting missed the guy. About to give my past life a long kiss. Good night. This dream difficult for me to visualize. I know it's real when they say the limit is the sky. But my feet sit on solid ground. No more stalling now. On the road to get it. Cause when the rain, it pour. But now the storm finally calming down. I'm